Hi, this is Marcel from Genelec. Welcome to this short video about the new features of GLM5. You can download it under software in your My Genelec account. If you haven't registered already, just do so under my.genelec.com. Here are the most important new functions and features. GLM5 now supports the 9320A SAM reference controller. Please check out our video about the 9320, which gives you an overview about the integration with GLM and how you can adapt it to your workflows. GLM5 also offers the calibration of our flagship 5-way studio monitor 8381. You can configure the 9401 AS67 to ASEBU bridge interface, including the base management setup. And GLM5 is compatible with the latest macOS 14, delivered as a universal binary including native Apple Silicon and Intel versions. This is how it looks like. If you set up a new system, you will now find the GLM adapter or the 9320 in the unplaced cell. Just drag them to the middle of the grid before you place your speakers and subwoofers. The window now shows the name of the setup file. In the right corner, you see a user icon to log into your MyGenelec account for the use of all cloud services. If you are logged in, it changes its status. You can, for example, register monitors, save and load GLM setup files from the cloud and order GRADE reports. GRADE is a powerful PDF report showing you all details about your room acoustics and the performance of your system in the room. This changed compared to GLM 4.2 and is now done after the calibration. Just go to Services and select Grade Report Order. Make sure to be logged in before calibrating to generate your Grade Report. Mute and Dim now work on system level, so they will keep their status when you switch groups. The SAM system power management was improved and offers new options. We have an ON-OFF button in the upper right corner to switch the complete system on and off. This button can also be controlled with MIDI devices. You can now use the automatic standby of our ISS function even if GLM is running. Just select Enable ISS with GLM Online under Setup, SAM System Power Menu. Then configure it to your needs, setting the delay and sensitivity. The setup will be turned off automatically after the time you set here without an audio signal. To turn it on again, use GLM's power button. Shutdown group off monitors is a very useful function if you have larger setups. If you enable it, GLM turns off all monitors that are not active in the group you are currently using. So you can for example use a stereo group for editing and all other monitors of your immersive setup are switched off. Also in the setup menu, you can now enable and disable the wireless remote control. It's now possible to define a system startup level, in addition to the maximum level restriction you already know. Under Group Preset, Store to Loudspeakers, you can now also save the maximum level restriction to your system for standalone use, in addition to the system startup level. We also have new MIDI functions for you. System power can be used to turn the system on and off. Solo Mute device allows to solo or mute a selected SAM monitor. It uses a CC command and the value is the so-called MIDI ID of the device. You can find the ID for each monitor in the info panel in GLM's main window. We now also made sure that if you use the wired volume controller, you will not be able to control the volume with MIDI commands. If you own W370 once, you might know the woofer cull page during calibration. This was removed. GLM5 will automatically show the woofer cull controls on the auto cull page for systems like W371 or 8381. Woofer cull starts automatically after the regular auto cull process. A nice new function for systems with multiple subwoofers. You can now change the gain of the LFE channel separately for each subwoofer of our 73 series. Just click on the icon in the Group Definition page. You can for example compensate the level of two subs playing back the same LFE content but doing individual bass management for speakers. 
We have a new firmware page which shows the status of all devices in your setup and makes it easier to apply updates if needed. You can access it by opening the info panel of a monitor. Then click on Firmware. To update the firmware of your network adapter, Order 9320, just click on the icon in the middle. Please always make sure that all of your devices are up to date, especially after your upgrade to GLM5. Thanks a lot for your attention. For more detailed information about the complete workflow with GLM5, please check out our walkthrough video. If you have questions, feel free to contact us at any time under support at genelec.com.